You shun them. You don't take that invitation. Or take it, but in your time. Then here what Allah continues to say, Why do they shun you? Why do they shun us? And do not take the invitation to come for Jummah, to come for classes, to come to learn Quran, to bring their children to learn Quran. To Why do they shun that? Why? They make excuses. Right? I say, brother, I don't see you. What's good? I'm busy. I got to work. Children got to go to school. Uh, you know, and they give you all these nine yards of excuses. Isn't that? I live far. Yeah, we don't live far if you have to go to Disney World. You don't live far if you have to go to see a Miami Heat game. You don't live far if you have to go to the stadium all up till midya, midnight to look at a game. No, no. Coming to the masjid, we live far. Wow, what is that? So the excuses sounds interesting, but it's not real. That's what you call fake. But hear what Allah says. Why do people make these excuses? And why do they shun your invitation? Why do they shun when we give them the message of the Quran and the Sunnah, and they don't practice that, they don't follow that, they ignore that, they think it's a joke. Huh? Allah says, وَلَمْ يُرِدْ إِلَّا الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا Allahu Akbar, so beautiful. Because the reason why they shun this message Dhikrina, the message of Allah, the message of the Prophet wasallam, the message that we remind ourselves and remind them. It's because they want nothing else. Illa hayat dunya The love of the life of this world. Someone's care. It's right here. It's not me saying that. Don't go and say, oh, Sheikh Shafayat said that. And then you start hating me for nothing. Don't worry, if you hate me, it doesn't mean Allah hate me. Okay? I'll just remember that. If you hate somebody for something good they do, it does not mean Allah hates that person. Because you should love people that Allah loves and hate things that Allah does not like. So if it's a good message from Allah, we need to love that message. Allah is making it very clear. Wallam you read illal hayat dunya. They shun your invitation to Allah, to the masjid, to the dhikr of Allah, to the halqa, to the Quran, anything, the dawah, the deen, everything, free sabil Allah, they got an excuse. They're very intelligent. They will not tell you, I don't want to listen to what you say. They'll give you a beautiful excuse. You ask everybody. Isn't that so, Brother Shimi? I'm sure you have family and friends. Say, Brother. Nothing to be embarrassed about. This is very Islamic. Brother, I don't see you bringing the kids to classes. They got classes at that time. They got to do their homework. Because their love for that dunya is more important. They don't think that we can die tomorrow. Our children can die tomorrow. What have we prepared them with for the life hereafter? They don't think that. They're all about, we live for this dunya. We all live for this hayat dunya, the life of this dunya. So they make all the dunya excuses and they shun the message of Allah. So Allah gives us hope. Allah gives us that hope and courage. You don't worry about that. Don't feel like a misfit. Actually, you shun them. Nobody is saying curse them. Nobody is saying be the enemy. Nobody is saying abuse anybody. You just, you know what? And I always have the problem when we have classes sometimes. You don't see Brother Abdullah. I say, Brother Abdullah, I didn't see you for class. Well, I had guests. You mean you made your guests take you away from your lifestyle? Why didn't you bring your guest? Guest? I guess that's a wrong excuse. What kind of stupid excuse is that? Oh, I had guests. I didn't, couldn't come for Juma. I had guests. I couldn't come for Quran. Come on. Bring your guest. You share the message with them. I always remind myself and all people that. That is such a flimsy excuse. 
illa mashallah when you have guests you don't shut down all your business and all your activities you work around that with your guests right if you need to take them in the office you take them in the office and give them coffee to drink all day while you do your work masjid allah islam we have guests children got to go to school we go, oh my allah. i mean if you're traveling you got to go well you're not there but that does not make sense let them respect your lifestyle. Let them respect your deen. You obey Allah and follow the Rasul first and let them fall in. Let's be strong. Let's not be zarif and weak people. That doesn't mean that you've got to be disrespectful. That does not mean that you've got to insult and abuse nobody with a love and a smile. You know, you guys stay home, enjoy yourself, eat all the food in the refrigerator. I've got to go to Quran class. I've got to go to masjid. Very simple. Because we don't let them do that and interrupt our dunya life. Why do we let them interrupt? Our, and I listen to people give me that excuse and I'm like, and I look at them and smile. And they probably think I'm accepting the excuse, but I'm smiling at their stupidity. Stop for a long